We're good? You're good. One of the other issues that often comes up, Dr. Taku, is what really sh should young engineers and, entre and entrepreneurs be studying as they go through? Is it the traditional electrical engineering programming? I'm going to say something which may shock some people. But if I was a young kid coming up the ranks and I saw a vision of the future, what courses should I excel in? Of course, the basics, but also quantum physics and also biotechnology. You realize that the future is not going to be silicon. Talking now 15, 20 years into the future, quantum physics is going to become the foundation of computation. And unless you are conversant, you're going to miss the boat. And again, the boat's not going to be taking off for quite a while. By the time these young people start to do programming and stuff like that, we are going to see Moore's Law begin to sputter. Second of all, biotechnology, because biology is information science. We're reducing the entire mass of life to computer code. This means that researchers, for example, in the aging process, will take the DNA scans of millions of people, old people, compare it with the millions of DNA scans of young people, subtract in a computer, and isolate the genes that control the aging process. So in other words, medicine in the future will be done with computer science, because biology itself is nothing but computer science, and a lot of big bucks are going to come from machines that can diagnose these things, like DNA chips, as well as bioinformatics that can crunch the numbers, as well as people involved with what is called reverse engineering the brain, and beginning to understand the architecture of the brain itself. So if I were a young kid starting all over again, I learned two things that are very rarely taught to young engineers, quantum physics and bioengineering.